Not all the changes are good. Honda fans were hyped to hear the company is redesigning the new passport, but the new look will be based on the pilot again, meaning we will probably have problems recognizing which one is on the road. The 2025 Honda Passport also comes with a new interior. For the cabin, designers are drawing inspiration from the new Prologue EV. That's not all. Say goodbye to the V6, cause a Turbo 4 is about to take its place as the go-to powertrain. Honda still needs a hybrid in the midsize SUV segment to become more competitive. The 2025 Honda Passport redesign is bringing some serious upgrades, but we are not as excited since the SUV is becoming a two-row pilot once again. The fresh look of the 2025 Passport has been confirmed and now fans are waiting for the official premiere to find out all the details, at least those die-hard fans. Most enthusiasts are disappointed to find out that the upcoming SUV will take cues from the recently redesigned pilot. Remember back in 2019 when the Passport made its comeback? It was practically a baby pilot, and only the keenest eyes could spot the differences. We thought those days were in the rearview mirror after the three-row SUV got its makeover. But, here it comes the new 2025 Passport and it's looking like a carbon copy of its bigger twin. Honda has yet to tease us with some images. Once again, the new Passport's cabin will feature elements borrowed from the pilot, especially the dashboard. Let's just hope a 9-inch screen is about to be replaced with a larger, 12.3-inch display. Just for the comparison, Chevrolet packs the Traverse with a 17.7-incher. A digital 10-inch driver's cluster looks very nice. It would be crazy not to carry over the infotainment system from the Prologue EV, as well as the safety suite that includes Honda Sensing. Compared to the Pilot, the Passport is a 5-seater, but with a lot more legroom in the second row. The SUV is getting bigger, like its 3-row twin, which means there will also be more space for cargo. Enthusiasts are tired of waiting for that mid-size hybrid SUV from Honda. They've been teasing us with pilot tests for ages, but the plug-in system has never entered production. In the meantime, the CRV remains one of the most efficient crossovers, which is one of the reasons for its great sales. No doubt about it, both the 2025 Passport and Pilot need a hybrid powertrain. Honda's got some setups in their arsenal that could fit the mid-size SUV. For example, a configuration like the one we had under the hood of the Acura MDX, where a 3.0-liter V6 was supported by electric batteries to deliver 320 horsepower, is definitely something worth buying. Still, engineers need to revise it and boost gas mileage, cause 27 miles per gallon just ain't cutting it anymore, especially with the Toyota Highlander returning 35. Also, Honda could turn to a four-cylinder petrol engine plus electric motor combo. Setup from the CRV is not potent enough for the big SUV. Instead, engineers might resurrect a 2.0-liter Atkinson cycle plant from the Accord and fine-tune it to deliver optimal performance in the midsize SUV. Honda is preparing tons of surprises, and here's another one fans won't accept peacefully. V6 engine is the backbone of durability and reliability. The company is ready to jump on the bandwagon and replace the legendary 3.5-liter six-cylinder motor with a turbocharged four-pot unit. Such a system can match the outputs of a V6 that delivered 285 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. However, turbo lags are not something we want from a big rig. It'll mess up performance, especially when you're hitting the off-road trails. Speaking of off-roading, Honda is finally showing intention to compete in this segment. The Trail Sport package isn't going to stun like Rubicons on Jeeps or TRD Pros on Toyotas. But, it's a nice starter kit for not-so-delicate adventures. Suspension is nicely tuned, though a bit more lift wouldn't hurt. Well, there are already aftermarket upgrades available for the Trail Sport package. These changes are a step in the right direction, but don't expect them to knock your socks off. Other changes on the 2025 Passport will be minor. It's interesting to observe how the designers are going to reconfigure the interior and make the SUV more practical. Honda confirmed the redesign and now pieces of information are being unveiled. The puzzle is set to be completed late this year. In the meantime, we will try to find test mules. Despite being heavily camouflaged, prototypes can often reveal some intriguing details. And the final letdown. The new Passport won't come with a lower price tag. The entry level still hovers above 40 grand, while its larger sibling, the Pilot, comes in under this mark.